one thing that happens when you grow your hair long is that you instantly become a goddess and people want to worship you. I literally have online slaves, men willing to do whatever I ask. My hair is famous. People like it because of the colour, the thickness and the length and they like me as a person I guess. Hi, my name is Jasmine Larson and I'm Britain's real life Rapunzel. So people often ask me if I'm genetically blessed and I tell them that it's partly genetic and partly to do with my hair care routine. I spend 15 hours a week taking care of my hair just because it's so long and thick and there are many steps to my routine. What I've been doing for over a year now is keeping all of the hair that falls onto my brush in a bag. So that's the hair from today's brushing and this is the bag that I'm keeping all of my hair stars on it. So I'm going to pop this in here and then I'll show you guys how much hair I've managed to collect from brushing. All right, there's a lot of hair in here. It's going to shock you guys. It's going to shock you guys. Look at all of that hair. That's like slightly over a year of just collecting my hair for. So what am I going to do with this hair? <laughs> Um, I could do two things, keep it or sell it. But what I'm doing in the meantime is actually separating the strands and then attaching them onto tape so I can, you know, have like a nice neat collection. Right now it's a mess, so it will take me a very long time to actually get through all this hair and like attach it onto tape separately, you know? Um, there are so many people doing that, it's not just me. In fact, Indian women keep their fallen hair and actually sell it because hair is worth money. So I could sell it or maybe not because then they have my genetic information. This bag is very special. It's probably worth millions and I'm just gonna keep saving my hair. To be honest, this bag would probably be much heavier if I also kept the hair that's that ends up on the floor, but I'm not gonna keep like dirty hair. It's gonna be only from the brush. Remember, hair is worth money. If you're cutting your hair, Remember to keep it, you can donate it to charities, you can sell it, you can do whatever, but keep your hair because it's valuable. The most that I've been offered for my hair is £250,000 and I obviously rejected it because my hair is priceless. I might be willing to sell it for a million pounds, but I don't know, I would rather wear the million pounds than actually just have it in cash. like. I'll just walk around with like a million pounds worth of hair. For now, my hair is priceless. I don't want anyone offering me money. And when I do, if I do eventually want to sell it, definitely in the millions, maybe billions, I don't know. I also find it really weird that I receive so many marriage proposals. So men would open up to me in my DMs. They would tell me that they own so many cars and houses and stuff. And they just expect me to be like, okay, let's just get married. You're amazing, I'm amazing. <laughs> £250,000. My times I've cut my hair and really sat under great life choices. £250,000. Like, I knew hair was valuable. I didn't think it was that valuable. I knew in the sense of valuable, like, doing it into charities, which I thought that's what she was doing, like, in the bag. I was like, oh, that's actually really nice. But to sell her hair, that is really interesting. I've never heard of that before. But when I mean, she was like, my hair's priceless, I'm like, yes, yeah, Slay. Do you know what I mean? Like, keep your hair. But to a billion pounds, I doubt, I'm really sorry, I don't think anyone will buy your hair for a billion pounds, but if they do, good luck, I'll be your friend. But that is really like, bizarre, I've never heard that before. 250,000 pounds and she rejected it, that bag of hair. I would just give them the bag and just do it all over again.
that is just the most wildest thing I've ever heard in my whole entire life. But I liked her little tips about how to keep your hair healthy in the sun because I have naturally blonde hair. So when it grows out in the winter, it like, my hair just feels so like soft and nice. But in the sun, obviously where I've had it like dyed and bleached, it gets really dry. So I'm spending like, ugh, like loads of money on hair masks. But I'm going to keep that in mind with what she was saying about the braids and the oiling. I oil my hair most of the time anyway, but I shall keep that in mind. That was very interesting, those facts. But her hair looks insane, it's so shiny. So jealous, looks so nice. It's a lovely colour. But it's a bit weird that men are like offering to buy her. It's just so weird, just because of her hair. I knew like it was like a pretty thing to have long hair, but I didn't think it was like a genuine like royal luxury to have. I might not ever cut my hair ever again then. That's how much people are offering. God, this one even offered me like £600,000 or like 60 quid or £60,000 or 6 quid. 6p. <laughs> Anything. A bit of trimming on my ends of my hair. I'd be like, go on then. Take that whole bunch. But that's just so insane. As if. Thanks for watching Story Gender. Don't forget to like and follow.